Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out in the backyard doing a little bit of plinking, a little bit of pellet testing with a couple of my nice old uh, rifles here. And I wanted to bring this one to you. We're gonna be testing out several different uh, kind of heavier 177 pellets with this. But what I have here is my really, really nice uh, Diana 34. This is the Diana 34 T06 Classic. It's a pretty new production gun. Uh, doesn't have a date stamp on it, so I'm not exactly sure when this one was made, but uh, they these are a, a pretty recent production gun. And uh, I took the scope off and I've actually got a nice peep sight mounted up on here. And uh, I'm just gonna be shooting at 20 yards here, um, trying out a couple different pellets. Uh, I have some, this is a tin of Crossman Premier pellets. They're a 10.5 grain. They call them the field target pellets on this tin, but these are basically the same pellets that they call their uh, Ultra Magnum, do uh, domed Ultra Magnums now. Um, also going to be trying out the field uh, Norma Golden Trophy FT, which stands for field target and then field target heavy. <clears throat> and then I've got some air arms, uh, Diablo field heavies, and these are 10.3 greens. So I've got some 10.5s, some 9.1s, and some 10.3s. So pretty similar. I did test this gun just before I brought it out over the chronograph just to uh, verify it was doing what it should be doing with a seven green Meister Coogan I was seeing uh, just over a thousand feet per second my highest shot was I believe a thousand nine a couple of shots uh, I did like four or five a couple shots were just under a thousand uh, but the average was just over a thousand so but uh, I do have a camera running we're gonna be shooting 20 yards uh, I have a camera running on a box with some splatter bursts on it and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, see what we can do. This is a really nice peep sight. Unfortunately the uh, the front sight is a not, not interchangeable and I can't change out the uh, insert there. There's no insert. just a uh, fiber optic post so it makes it a little more a little more challenging for me to sight this like I normally would with a, a target gun I guess they were figuring everybody was gonna stick a scope on these kind of these kind of guns really would be nice to swap that whole front sight out with a uh, I'll have to work on that swap that whole front sight out with a uh, a nice uh, maybe a Lyman 17 or something like that this does have a T06 trigger which is really nice I don't think I've done any work on it to lighten it up, but it is nice and light. I'm guessing it's under under two pounds, maybe closer to one pound. Oh, it's looking like a nice, really nice group with the uh, these uh, Crossmans. tested my 350 Magnum on and I think it was just maybe too much power I'm not sure looks like a good group I'll have to grab that box and bring it back here in a minute but let's move on to the Normas
so much fun to just get out here and do a little plinking in the backyard. Today the today the wind's not too bad. There is a little bit of wind swirling around, enough to make the uh, wind chime ding a little bit anyway. But uh, not as bad as it has been the last couple times I've been out here. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do with these Normas. So far, I've not been <laughs> not been real impressed with the uh, performance with these Normas in most of my guns. I really have not found a gun that it really these really shoot that well out of. But we'll uh, give it a try and. I haven't done anything to this gun yet. The shot cycle is a little bit noisy in it. Got a little little twang to it. It's not terrible though. No, I see at least at least one pellet hit below the splatter burst. I can't tell. There's a couple on the edge. But overall, I guess it's not too bad. All right, well, a little low. Let's move on to the, the air arms and we'll uh, see how well we did. So there's five of these air arms, these air arms so far, these uh, Air Arms Diablo Field Heavies, they've been really shooting good in several guns that I've tested them in. And uh, hopefully uh, they'll do well in this gun too. They just seem to fit really nice in the chamber when you stick them in there too. Each one goes in nice and consistent. Just below the, just below the splatter burst. Yeah, right at the bottom there, I can see it. I did check my zero with the Crossman's, so I kind of expected that one would have the best uh, overall point of impact. But we'll check the group sizes and see how we did with those. <laughs> what a nice shooting gun, though. Do I, if I do anything to it, I'll probably pull the spring out and just put some spring tar on it. Usually just a little bit of grease on these springs on these uh, nicer guns. Really does, does a lot to dampen the, the twang if you have any. Oh, Fred's, Fred's getting them. All right, 
let me go grab that target and we'll uh, see how I did. Stand by. Alrighty, so I am back and uh, definitely did the best with the Crossman Premier pellets. Again, those Norma trophies just don't seem to do much for me in most of my guns. <laughs> I don't know, but the uh, Air Arms didn't do bad. Um, this this sight is just tough for me to really sight well in, but uh, I think those Air Arms really could do better. Um, I will uh, give it some more try, and uh, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to switch that that sight out with uh, something with a little better uh, insert in it. Um, just that fiber optic just does not get it done shooting with a, uh, a peep sight. <laughs> but uh, the uh, Crossman Premiers win this, uh, this round. And, uh, but what a great shooting gun. Definitely does not like the Normas, but the Crossmans and the Air Arms, right on the money, so. There you go, that is my Diana 34 T06. Uh, Kevin over at the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun channel had his 34 out and I made me uh, wanna get mine out and shoot it some more. I, I haven't had that out since uh, last fall, actually. So anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.